Hello TCG and Lorcana enthusiasts and welcome back to yet another Lorcana deck and gameplay video. Today I have a special deck for you all. You guys know I loved brooms when they first came out in chapter 1. Now while brooms were more or less just kind of shoved into a Stitch Rockstar deck, now we have ourselves a more competent broom control strategy. Thanks to the cars from Into the Inklands, which gave us plenty of new brooms and a location to go with said brooms. So let's do the car by car. We are running the four Rafiki, the four of the first magic broom for friends on the other side. We are running three of the, ma the three drop magic broom from uh, Into the Inkland for Maleficent. Three of the Sorcerer's Tower, all our magic brooms get to move here for free, and any card here for, gets basically a plus one to their lore. All our brooms are naturally one lore each, so this gives them two lore. There are There is no lore at this location, so that is what's comp compensate for it. We're running three of the Ursula for Mickey Mouse, the Sorcerer. We're running three of the Queen's Castle. This does give us two lore per turn and does allow us to draw a card for whoever is attached to it. We are, I'm only running two of the five drop magic broom that shuffles all your magic brooms back into your drop and with Rush. I don't think it's all that great compared to like the magic broom that gets the plus two um, when at a location for being able to challenge stuff. I like the broom that shuffles. This one's also not inkable and really only has a use for shuffling other magic brooms back into the drop where in which this magic broom could do it. So you could drop this broom altogether or even play just two cop one copy of it. I'm going to play two just because it does have rush, does quest for two, and can shuffle all our magic brooms back in, especially if we haven't seen this broom just yet. But anyways, I'm also running three of the five drop Maleficent. She gets to move damage around, which is very good for us being able to control board states, being a steel deck as well, and not mentioning that um, when she quests, she gets to draw a card. So... It's very good. And then finally for the magic broom, I'm running three of the six drop magic broom that gets to stun something. We have plenty of sorcerers in this deck with Maleficent, Mickey Mouse, Ursula, and well and behold, even Rafiki is a sorcerer. So we have a lot of sorcerers that this broom can trigger off of. For the steel side of the engine, I'm running four Robin Hood, three Let the Storm Rage On, four of the... Um, Steel Broom that gets resist until the end to our next turn. We have two of a Strength of a Raging Fire because, again, Mickey Mouse does reduce the cost of all our brooms. There is a good chance we can spam brooms. We have three Then Came Zeus because Mickey Mouse can sing it. We are running three of the Draw Beast, and then I'm running three of the Shift Robin Hood to go over our little Robin Hood. So 62 cards all together. That's the deck. Let's jump into it. A couple of games and see how well we do all right we're going to get against probably the best deck of all past three locana sets um uh, ruby amethyst which of course like i said is the best set overall uh, not a great starting hand i think i'm going to knock up these locations there's no real starting brooms here we're going to get rid of the six drop on inkable broom and then we'll keep this hand here i do like having this Melissa right now and look at that, we drew a couple of her castle as well. No, that's the Queen's Castle. I think I called the Maleficent's Castle in the deck profile. Sorry, it's it's the Queen's Castle. It's someone's castle. Alright, um, we got both of these. I think I'd rather keep one in my hand. So let's put a Queen's Castle away. And I'm going to put out this uh, Challenger Rafiki because she do he does actually threaten this Minnie Mouse. We could put out the Robin Hood, but the Robin Hood can't threaten to knock the Mickey, the Minnie Mouse out this turn. Unless, of course, he drops the Madam Hen Snake. Yep. I had to. Kind of half expected that um, the snake to drop here. So we will uh, pass from there. <sighs> yeah, it, you can always tell when the snake's dropping out, you know? Pour out the little Minnie Mouse, drop the snake. That's kind of annoying. I don't have anything that can deal with that. Well, I got the Ursula, which kind of helps. Ugh, it's not a great. I guess we'll throw another castle. 
play this, take a draw, pass the turn. Again, I don't want to quest right now because there's not really a reason to quest. I don't want to get threatened with this snake. I kind of want this Robin Hood to sit up here to hopefully get our hands on our five drop Robin Hood. Not mentioning the next turn we can go like friends on the other side, singing on the Maleficent to draw two. You know, sometimes you just get what you want. Um, I don't think we need this broom right now. I'm gonna do a, a duty sing here. We're gonna take a big shift. I will quest here. As, as strange as that sounds, it means it's a threat. And it can be kind of like this weird, like, target for him to have to go after. Now, mind you, the problem is I am going to have to deal, find a way to deal with this Minnie Mouse. Not that it's impossible to deal with her. But, I mean, we have a couple guys coming up that can quest for a good chunk of lore, like this Maleficent's going to be coming in. Fish hook, huh? You're going to give something... Oh, he's going to come and knock out my... Well, I mean, it was a threat he had to deal with sooner or later, so I'll just take my free draw. Not bad. Uh, we got a broom now in our hand. So I guess maybe this turn it's worth just bringing out the Maleficent and going from there. I don't think we need another Rafiki. I think we burnt, we burnt all the Rafikis we need. We'll play that. I don't think I want to give him a draw at this moment in time. We're not dead, mind you. We're far from it. Because literally, I could play the castle next turn, quit both of Fiki's to it, and, well, now there goes my Maleficent. Ugh, well, that kind of sucked. I probably should have put this Ursula out and actually stunned that mini. I'm thinking about it. Maybe that should have been actually a play I did. Um... We'll see what I can't draw. Hopefully I draw into something that helped me here. Such a good card. It's so underrated too. Ugh. We are definitely not winning this one. We're hurt. we're so on a back foot right now. And I don't think my stun engine stun strategy is gonna work too well here. Or the control strategy is going to work too well here. <laughs> Whoops. Well, I mean, that's Lorcana for you. Sometimes you get on the back foot and sometimes you think you can get something and they just throw out the one a character you can't even stop. I didn't even get any of my control cards. Folks, I'm calling this one. I don't have the win. All right, well, we lost one. Let's get into game two and see if we can win one. All right, now we're playing it's Amber Ruby. All right. Let's see if we have a better shot at winning this one. Uh, that's not. All this stuff can go. I just want to keep A friends on the other side. I'd rather see if we can't get any. Okay, there's Rafiki. I think I'm going to put this Ursula out a lot sooner. It's not what I kind of want to see. That was actually... Ugh, we got way too many. Non-inkables in our hand right now. But I think this turn, I'm going to put out this Ursula a little quick sooner so I can threaten to stun things. Okay, uh, I think this broom can go. Right now, we've got no locations to really utilize with it. I'm going to put out this Rafiki and uh, pass. Let's see what our opponent wants to do. Ah, yes, the Rapunzel. Nice to see that into his inkwell. Ew. Um, we don't got any brooms right now, so this can go. I'll pass on that. I forgot. Yeah, this only has three will. Three, uh, like, will. Forgot. Even though this queen's, like, really good, my gosh, does she kind of suck on the will side of things. Uh, play that, draw a card. That's actually pretty nice. Because we can literally go... Sing Storm, Storm knock that out. Oh, of course, Baloo. And then we can use like Storm and Raging Fire to not to remove the last of it out. Or we could play another character and have then have Maleficent sing Storm. 
broom is not bad. We don't got anything to use with the broom right now. Um, I'm gonna get rid of friends as much as that is not great. I do want to put out this Maleficent so I can start threatening the use of this Maleficent. Now again, I can't do much against this Baloo because he does gain um, two lore on its ultimate demise. But you know what? Two lore, cleaning up the board and next turn I can literally stun something if he decides to quest with this queen. It's our good friend, Doc. Okay, good. So I can just kind of stun it. Alright, from this point, I think we can throw a broom into there. We quest with the Ursula to stun the queen. That way, if he has the shift queen, he can't just automatically use it here. I th What's the... I think the play is to just play this per normal. Snipe that. Pull out this broom. Cycle back. Let's cycle back the Rafikis just so I have my my challenger, and then I'm going to draw two. Okay, that's pretty good. Lately, next turn we can either put out the Beast or we can put out uh, Maleficent and threaten and have that as a threat. Kind of interesting to decide to uh, knock out my Maleficent with his dock. Kind of an interesting thought. Uh, we'll. Yeah, I, I was pretty much winning from this point. I, I was gonna I was gonna freeze. I was gonna put out the beast this turn. I may put out Maleficent, but I was gonna put out the beast just so I have the threat there. But yeah, uh game two goes to us. Alright, we got a game three to play. Big old game three. We got Steel Ruby. Okay, we've played three Ruby variants. <laughs> Ruby Amethyst, Ruby Amber, and Ruby Steel. Okay, we we really just like playing the variants, don't we? We're going to knock out all that. It's kind of not important at this moment in time. Good. We actually drew the Rafiki. Okay. That's actually pretty nice. The brooms might be going into, of course, our inkwell here. We are going second, so we do get the draw to figure out what we're putting in. It's not a bad opening hand. Oh, I think I know what he's playing. Ah, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Okay, so what he's playing is using the John Silver from Steel that gains a plus one lore and plus one resist for each location that's out on the board. He's playing location spam. He's basically going to spam the uh, place up with locations and then go like ham with it. So it's not going to be too fun here with um, him doing that, but nothing we can do about it. I did think about putting like um, the Titans steel card in here that knocks out locations altogether, but again, so few decks play locations as a competent strategy within them that there really isn't all this overall threat of like locations being so prevalent. And now where there's two Captain Hooks on the board. Okay, not exactly what I would want to see, especially with a Challenger Rafiki on board. Uh, I guess I'll pass from there. Uh, he gains Rush if he's attached to it. And then pirate characters can move here for free, so hey look, some pirates. As of right now, he's only got a... Okay, well that's not good either. Oh, um, that's kind of annoying. Well, I guess it's only just one, so it's not like a heavy lore thing. I'm gonna put this away. I am, I am gonna put out this, uh, Ursula here just because... This, um... He can challenge... You know what? Screw it. If he wants to come at me, he can come at me. I'd rather knock out his location. I do not need a bunch of rush characters coming down on the board. I think it's like one to move a character there, so I'd rather he not have a bunch of characters that are just magically rust rushing everywhere. That's not great. Now all his pirate... Now all his Captain Hook characters are getting a plus one to their um, lore. And he gets to draw one every time a Captain Hook knocks out a character. Wrong side of the character. Well, at least I can do like Ursula, Ursula to a stun this Captain Hook. Um, I think I value this Maleficent just a little bit more. I'm gonna stun that because I'm just gonna go this to knock that out. Okay, that just removes the challenger. 
And like I said, I would rather him not get Rush right now. And literally next turn, we can just go Maleficent, Maleficent basically to do whatever we want. And because we'll have Sorcerers out on the field, this Magic Broom also triggers. So we can stun something else if need be. Two Rapiers. It's Mr. Shmee! Ugh. Mr. Shmee! Don't be on the board, Mr. Shmee. No one wants me. Anyways, we'll do this. Play this. Um, this Mr. Shmee will have to bash into this Ursula, but I don't... I don't mind that. If, if this Ursula... If he wants to come bash into the Ursula, he can be my guest. The problem is I can't ch can't be challenged with characters that are three cost or less. Okay. So I mean I literally have characters that can do anything I need. Interesting. He did decide to I don't have any damage on this Ursula. So typically Maleficent can then move damage around. So I could smash into that. I don't think I want to. Um We'll quest with the Ursula, stunning this again. We quest here. We draw another card. We don't have anything to spin around for damage-wise. Um, I think I'm going to put this broom away. I could have put this one, but I think I actually want this broom out this turn. I'm going to do another... I'm going to do two damage over on this captain. I don't have any damage to counters to move around. Um, and then I'm going to put this broom selected. I think we're going to cycle back the Rafiki. And I'll pass. Alright, 100 spent. It's back to him to come smash into this. Um, so now he's going to gain a lore for challenging, which makes sense. That's actually pretty good. So he's playing more of Jer a, a Jeratai Khan steel deck. And then using the Rapiers to get draw two cards here. Which actually is not bad if you think about it. So Mr. Shmi should come into um Of course now um his Captain Hook is Okay, so kinda sucks, but nothing I can do about it. And he gets another Well, that Zeus is pretty nice because I could just knock off this Captain Hook in one shot. Um, unfortunately, I think I'm going to throw the broom closet away um, so I can go Zeus on the Captain Hook so I don't have to deal with it. And then I'll put out this Ursula and then I'll quest with this broom. Let's see. Okay. So it's a pay one to get draw a card. So, I mean, depending on what he pay, what he plays, he has to... Uh, Oh, great. I think this gives evade. Yeah, it gives evasive to all his characters. So he gains a lore here. And he can pay one, two, then draw two. Yep. Look at that, kids. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> all right, well, we'll play out Maleficent. Draw a card. We'll put out a Mickey Mouse and pass. It's not great either, because this... um. Boat is going to gain him two lore turn. I have enough damage right now on the board. Unless he smashes that. Which isn't great. I should have swung into that. All honesty. Just let him have the sure Tai Con kill. So now it's got a base. Of... Nah, I can't even threaten that. The only broom I would need is like the rush broom to come down. And then I could use that. Um... I guess we could do this so I can lock the Shurikai Khan down a turn. It gives me a turn to smash into the uh, Legacy. Oh, I couldn't see any of my draw cards. Nothing. I think I had this got like one um, friend on the other side. Oh, there's a Captain. Hook ship that gives Reckless to everything. And you, Oh, it's a two cost to connect. Hmm. Oh, well, that didn't knock me out, thank goodness. Uh, of course, unless you got that rusher to come in. 
Oh, yeah, he rushes in here, gains another lore. So, my gosh. Gains another lore, draws two cards. Wow, that's actually really nice. Holy crap, that's actually pretty nice. Well, we finally got a, something we can do. Attach and attach. I guess I do that. And pass. At least maybe get a draw. I don't see how... We're, well, I guess, no, that doesn't have any lore count to it, so I guess we're safe there, but again, he's got a lot of characters that come down. He attaches them to the boat, he gets a rush. Guess he can deal, guess he can rush in at the, um... So here he comes in for the swing, he gains the draw. Jir Taikon actually works for himself, so he's going to smash that for the three. I don't mind that at all. And he gets just to use another two. Ink to draw two more cards. The value. My gosh, the man's value here that he's drawn through. More Jolly Rogers. More Jolly Rogers. Eh, not great. Um, I guess we can put out these two. Attach the location. And force him to have to connect a bunch of rushers here. I mean, that's probably what he's going to do. He's just going to rush spam my location. Yep. Because the rapiers, if you don't know, give, um... Your character, Captain Hook, gets challenger plus one. There's a smash. He's seen everything, folks. He's just seen everything, and I couldn't see anything to get going. Uh, we're so late into the game now, um... I mean, I'm not dead. So, you know what? We'll keep playing it out. Don't think we're out of it just yet. I'm going to cycle an Ursula back in the deck. I mean, I don't see how we're winning. Because even if you go put this to four, or that just gets smashed into our existence too. Well, there he is, everyone. The John Silver I was talking about. For each location, he gets resist one plus one lore. There it is, all the locations, just spam them right up. Spit them out of your hand. Ugh. Even if you use, like, this here to smack that, that's already five lore there. So you got five, six, seven, eight. Eight plus all this, so yeah, he's got it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that gameplay and the deck profile as well. Let me know down in the comments your thoughts on both and, of course, what cards you would put into the deck and what cards we should take out, change, and all of that. And while you're commenting, do make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell so you can know five of my videos go live for you. And we'll see you here next time on Mama Dragons TCG.